Hello everyone, welcome to Matt's Top Tech. Today we're going to be looking at the new GFast broadband that's available to some customers in the UK now. It's available to over 2 million homes, so stay tuned. So we thought this was a worth a mention on the channel, it's the new GFAST broadband that's been rolled out throughout the UK, BT have now made it available to over 2 million homes. We thought that people would be aware of this but there's been no sort of advertisement or anything that we've seen, so a lot of people we speak to don't actually know that this exists. So what is GFAST broadband? Well without getting too technical, GFAST broadband it's an alternative to fibre optics so you can get speeds of up to 330 megabytes per second a lot of people don't have fibre to the home GFAST uses your existing phone line there is a downside to this it is only available if you're within range and the range seems to be about 300 metres so as long as you're within 300 metres of your nearest GFAST kiosk um, it should work fine so how does GFAST work? well some of you may have noticed these little extra green kiosks that have been rolled out next to the existing kiosks that BT have. These are the new GFAST pods. Basically, it boosts the signal down your existing phone line. Um, it'll send frequencies of up to 200 megahertz, and this is what enables you to get the, the fast broadband. So 300 meters is the peak. There's lots of options available out there. You're best off speaking to your ISPs, your internet service providers, just to see if they offer it in your area. So what's the installation? Basically you will need an engineer to your home. They come out, they install a new master socket for your telephone. Everyone's got one in the home, it's just where the phone line comes in you'll have a master socket. Basically this gets upgraded to a master socket 5C, just a newer version that enables the GFAST. Some of you may need an extra network switch if you've got an older router that doesn't have the GFAST built into it. So sometimes you will need an extra network switch. This just comes from the phone line into the network switch and then passes through to your normal Wi-Fi router. Obviously it's available through other, other internet service providers but for me it's called the Fiber Max. The GFAST does have limited numbers at the minute so if you're in a local village or wherever you may be chances are there might be a limited number so just bear that in mind if you're phoning up to try and get it and it's not available it could be due to the um, amount of spaces that you've got in your local um, in your local BT switch so just to sum up the GFAST broadband, it's the closest you're going to get to fibre if fibre isn't available in your area. It does offer a good stable connection, we've not had any problems with it. Just bear in mind that the distance will vary. Obviously you need to be within 300 metres of your local BT kiosk. Just bear in mind that you will have to have one of these new master sockets, the 5C. They are big bulky things so if your socket's on shore you might find it a bit unsightly. But if it's behind a cabinet somewhere, it should be fine. And just bear in mind that you might need this extra switch if your home Wi-Fi router doesn't have it already built in. I believe that the ones from BT do have it already built in, but the ones from EE don't. So I hope you found this useful, guys. It's a bit of a review on the GFAST. Let us know in the comments if you're thinking about upgrading or if you already have. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you in the next one.